My name is Gabriel. I suffered a traumatic brain injury. My name is Barbara, and we are from Long Island, New York. Five years ago, my son suffered an accident. He was in the intensive care for three and a half weeks, and then he was in rehabilitation for about three and a half months. But at the point when he came home, he was not walking, he was wheelchair bound. He was not speaking. We were fully invested at investigating everything that could possibly facilitate his brain healing. Got multiple therapies done to me, but I just needed that next step. There was one uh, central place that we went to that specialized in brain healing and brain injury, and through them, we were referred to various therapies, um, including this one. So we were very excited to come in for the consultation, and we, we just jumped right in. This is unique because you're given TMS, but you're given TMS specifically based on an fMRI, which is a functional MRI, which really sees what parts of the brain are functioning, what parts of the brain are not functioning. Once she has the exact location of the areas that need to be treated, she can then translate that into how she directs the magnets. Just felt like tapping on your head, but didn't hurt. For Gabriel, we started therapy last year. It's always been our intention to try to heal his speaking voice because speaking is so essential as far as how he presents himself to the world. So for us, that was what brought us in here. What we didn't realize is all of the other effects that this particular treatment would have. We didn't expect to have any muscular effects. We were really just looking for the vocalization and, and his effects upon speech. After the treatment feel less tight, I could relax my muscles. His speed of speech and his cadence has all increased. He has much more emotional ups and downs in his speech as opposed to before where it was very flat and it was much slower. And now it's so much easier to focus. He actually makes it a point to go into a social setting and he approaches people, which he never would have done. So we've witnessed the um, effects of this treatment in making him much more confident um, as far as how he approaches life and how he approaches social situations. And that was unexpected. Studying at Long Island University for psychology. I highly recommend checking this out. You know, there, there's research. Dr. Moreno has so many articles where she's done research with you know, regard to this FM, fMRI-guided TMS. And that's where the future is. <laughs> this is the only place that it's given in an outpatient setting, the only place. You can look all over the world. This is the only place that you will get TMS under fMRI guidance in an outpatient setting. You can improve just by the little treatment. It doesn't seem like a lot at first, but over time, you see a difference. The worst thing you can do is take away hope from a patient. If you are presented with an opportunity that will provide hope in an environment of encouragement and technological prowess, it's a gift. And we're just very grateful to be here and for Dr. Moreno to be treating my son.